Welcome to this tutorial, where we'll explore how to use the image to image function in Scenario. This feature allows you to generate new images using a reference image to influence both content and composition, providing the flexibility to create high quality visuals while ensuring consistency across your outputs. By the end of this guide, you'll know how to upload a reference image, adjust its influence, select the right model, and edit your generated content easily to speed up production. To begin, navigate to the main menu and click New to open the image generation interface. You have a few options to add your reference. Select an image from your scenario library, drag and drop an image from your device, or sketch your own by clicking on Sketch. In this tutorial, we'll start by sketching four simple icons using Scenario's Sketch Tool. The Sketch Tool lets you quickly draw a rough image using simple tools like the pencil and color picker. Once your icons are ready, apply the sketch as your reference image to guide the generation. Make sure the mode is set to image to image. Next, adjust the influence slider to control how closely the output follows your sketch. Higher values retain more of the original design, while lower values introduce more variation. A range of 15 to 25 is recommended as a starting point. Now, select the model that will shape the style of the output. For the first example, we'll use the Colorful Digital Icons model. You can also provide a prompt to capture or emphasize descriptive details you'd like to see as part of your generation. You can specify color schemes, object types, or textures to guide the AI without repeatedly adjusting the reference or model. Click Generate to bring your reference, model, and prompt together and watch as the feed loads with your content. If you think of something else to add or remove, you can modify the prompt to quickly adjust the output without having to change your reference image. This is a great way to add new details as you get closer to your desired output. With Scenario, embarking on style exploration has never been easier. You can test new styles by switching between models with a click of the mouse. We'll now try the Game UI Essentials model and generate a new set of icons without changing our prompt or the reference image. Compare the outputs to see how the choice of model can dramatically affect the results. Let's experiment with a few different models to push our exploration further. We'll see how the icons transform using the Bold Line Illustrations model for clean outline designs. Next, we'll try the Sleek 3D Assets model, designed to generate modern, minimalist 3D style visuals. Finally, let's check out the Sticker Icons model, giving the icons a playful, sticker-like look. Now let's move to refining outputs. If you like a specific output, but there's a detail that simply isn't working for you, edit the image within the Reference Image section to quickly fix it. Firstly, load the generated image as a new reference, then click the pencil button to sketch directly over the area you want to fix. You can use the color picker to erase details or add new ones based on existing elements within your reference image. Now you're ready to tweak the influence slider. As we said before, you can modify the influence depending on how closely you want the output to resemble your reference image. You can always generate again to refine the design to your liking, giving you total control over your editing process directly within the Generate Image module. Once you're happy with your generated image, you can upscale it using the Enhance feature to improve resolution and detail without losing quality. First, choose your scaling factor and preset. Then, to keep the upscale aligned with your desired style, you can add reference style images in the relevant section and adjust their influence to control how much they impact the final output. Now, let's explore how you could use the image to image feature to develop a character with different poses. Sketch three versions of the same character in distinct poses, such as a relaxed pose, hands on hips, or holding up hands. Your sketch doesn't have to be precise, 
a rough outline will suffice. The more exact you sketch, the higher the influence can be, and vice versa. Apply your sketch as the reference image and adjust the influence slider. Next, select a model. Keep in mind, this will determine the style of your outputs. In this example, we'll be using a character model already available in Scenario. Then, refine your prompt to specify the details you want in the generated image. Click Generate to create your outputs and review them to see how effectively the reference, model, and prompt work together to produce the final design. To create a character evolution, sketch three stages of the same character, like different poses or phases of growth. Apply the sketch as your reference. Adjust the influence slider. Then select a model. For this example, we'll be using the Flux Retro Aesthetics model. In your prompt, add details you want included in your final outputs. Click Generate to see the character evolve through each stage. If you're satisfied but want slight adjustments, use the Vary button, designed to introduce subtle tweaks or alternatives to your images while preserving the main details of the original image. For larger changes, try modifying your sketch, prompt, or model selection as mentioned earlier. For a more advanced workflow, simply click on Retouch to open the canvas for detailed edits. You can use Scenario Live, which relies on the image-to-image -image mode to sketch or refine your images in real time, visualizing your changes without needing to regenerate from scratch. Image-to-image -image can also be accompanied by other modes, such as ControlNet, for more precise control over poses and shapes. If you're new to ControlNet, feel free to check out the dedicated tutorial linked below. By following these steps, you can create a wide range of variations while maintaining control over your outputs. We hope this will help you push the boundaries of your AI-powered workflows into new parts of your production pipeline, enabling you to develop more content in your art style. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.